Hey, what's up, guys? It's Matt Modai again, coming to you on behalf of Odds Jam. As always, uh, today I'll be continuing my series reviewing sports books. So, the first video we went, went over my favorite one, which is DraftKings. Today will be the second most popular one, which is FanDuel. Um, and just to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of FanDuel. Um, I find their odds boosts aren't as good. They normally don't hit, and just the layout isn't as good as DraftKings to me. Um, but to be fair, uh, the odds themselves on FanDuel isn't terrible, not including odds boosts. Like if you look here, the, you get the best odds for Bills money line, Chargers money line, Bengals money line. And then for this college game, you'll get the best odds on both um, both sides of it. So their odds aren't terrible. They generally also seem to, comes out, to come out with odds relatively early compared to other ones. Like DraftKings and FanDuel are the best at that. But I don't like the odds boost and the promos as much. So if you remember the DraftKings one, uh, they had two different bets that one win 100. You don't see any of that here. Um, DraftKings had a 20% odds boost on every single NFL game, which is amazing. You don't see any of that here. Um, and the new user bonus or promo sign-up bonus, I should say, for DraftKings was risk-free up to 5,000, not 1,000. So the promos are a little bit better. And then the odds boost, I just don't find I hit that often like this one Antonio Gibson to score Washington football team to win like plus 800 obviously is a great bet but it's really unlikely that they win so you know it's almost like you know the, the value isn't there um this one I actually do like the Cardinals Ravens and Broncos I think is good um but this just in general I find that FanDuel doesn't have as good odds boost so I almost never end up locking any of them just because I don't think they're as good um and then as far as the layout itself so if you watch the DraftKings one, you remember at the top here, you had a bunch of different options, which obviously FanDuel does. But like if I wanted to, to just look at player props, right, I wanted to look at every single one. This player prop screen doesn't show me that, right? It just it just shows season long ones. So if I wanted to look at player props, I have to go into each individual game. Same thing with game props and all that stuff. And then if you go into the actual game, if you remember, it, it was the same thing with DraftKings. Um, they have all this stuff up here and at least FanDuel does that. So it's not as, at least this part isn't bad. You don't have to kind of scroll down, which they used to. This is actually a new feature. They didn't have this before. So at least they have the same thing, but I really like DraftKings. Um, you could just look at NFL and then like scroll to the top here and then just like click game props or player props or whatever you want to do. And, um, and they would have everything listed. FanDuel doesn't do that, but um, one thing I will say, FanDuel was the first sports book to have a same game parlay. And I have noticed that they have, you can bet on more options on FanDuel than you can on DraftKings for the same game parlay. So that is one thing that they have going for them. I do appreciate their same game parlay better. Um, so if, you, if you're really into those, which I do like, and they do have some promos regarding same game parlay. So I think it's like uh, risk-free. So you bet up a three leg up to, let's see, must have four, all right, must have four dollars or greater, and max refund is 10. Okay, so that they're, um, yeah, okay, so max bet up to 10. So the, even the, the the same game parlay isn't as good with, with FanDuel, but, um, but yeah, I think the main thing, the reason why I don't use it as much is one, the layout, and then the odds, and then the odds boost. So, and then like, if you're a new user, DraftKings has incredible, has incredible. I think this one was uh, the refer a friend on DraftKings was 100. This one's only 50. Um, and then, like I said, the new the, the, the new user sign up bonus isn't as good. Um, they don't have like the as many odds boosts, um, like the actual 20% profit boost. I should I should say that FanDuel has or that DraftKings has. FanDuel does not. Um, so, like I said, I don't use it as much. I'm not a big fan, but like I said, their odds themselves aren't terrible. So uh, if you do have a FanDuel account, I, I obviously think it's it's worth using. They do have some good stuff, but it's just not as good as DraftKings, in my opinion. So um, I would give it, if I'm giving Draft, DraftKings my favorite, I'll give it an, I'm giving it an A. I would go with around a C, C plus for FanDuel. It's just, it's not super user friendly. The odds boosts aren't as good and neither are the promos. So I just don't, you know, if everything else was equal, I would almost always choose DraftKings, but but it's still worth, like I said, having the account. You still want to be able to get the best odds for stuff like this. So they do have some some good sign up bonuses. Um, but like I said, it's just DraftKings is my favorite. So um, that that's the end of this one. Uh, if you have any questions, if you need help setting anything up, you can hit me up on Modi underscore sports or at email Modi Sports Analytics at gmail.com. 
And if you just, you know, want advice on other different, different sports books, uh, those are coming later in the series, but you can always hit me up. So thanks for listening and uh, have a good one. Happy betting.